Good evening, Rome, and thank you for that introduction. A hearty UE at St. Augustine welcome to our online viewers, and particularly our new students. Welcome to this UB Life Student Orientation event for the academic year 2021 to 2022. Most importantly, I welcome you to our UE family. We are happy to have you as a part of the great West Indian tradition that is the University of the West Indies. Our UE graduates, that total over all time and over all our campuses, the space we call the UEverse, of just under a quarter million have built impactful careers as leaders of governments, artists, engineers, doctors, scientists, economists, and the list goes on. It includes a Nobel laureate as well. So rest assured you are in great company. Further, I know that each of you has the capability to build on this UB tradition by being what our region and our world urgently needs, future innovators and game changers. So, this leads me to the first piece of advice that I would like to share with you. And that is that you should make the most of every opportunity to exploit your full potential, even beyond the confines of your chosen discipline. You have taken the first vital step by joining us to achieve worldwide recognition in your field of choice. But as you develop in knowledge and capability, and given the dizzying pace which the world is changing, Look out for signs that this first step may just be only a launch pad for exploration of other opportunities. Each and every one of you has the potential to do amazing things and to leave a great mark, not just at the UE St. Augustine, but on our local communities and even beyond. We all come from different backgrounds and we all think differently. For example, I come from an engineering background and I tend to think a bit more logically as opposed to my colleagues from the humanities who are right brain thinkers, creative thinkers. However, I was able to combine both thought paradigms as part of a team that invented the G-Pan, a re-engineered incarnation of the traditional steel pan, and the Phi, a digital electronic form of the instrument. If you were able to meet face to face for this event, I would have invited you to give yourself a huge round of applause for your achievement. But here we are in this virtual space. I was told that you can share emojis in the comments of the stream. So let's do that. Let's share the virtual applause for your step towards higher education, for the graduation stage that you will be crossing in the years ahead, and for the great things that you'll be doing within our campus and beyond. And I will lend my own physical applause, traditionalists, um, to this. Welcome. Also joining us in the stream is another group of very important persons. And it would be remiss of me not to mention them. Students, while I'm certain that you have each put in a great deal of hard work to get to where you are today, I ask you to remember that you did not do it alone. Joining the UE family alongside you are your own families, your friends, and support networks. Trust me when I say that the work they have put in to support you along the way is truly invaluable. From the words of encouragement to celebrating your achievements and motivating you through the downfalls. Families and friends, do not forget that your work has not ended. The need for that support, motivation, and celebration will still be there especially during these times when we're experiencing a global pandemic that has ushered in an air of continuous uncertainty. But you're joining us at a unique time in this pandemic crisis. For here in Trinidad and Tobago, the government has recently started relaxing some restrictions. Our borders have reopened and anti-COVID vaccinations are readily available. So there's a glimmer of hope that we are on the road to getting to a steady state that will allow for a new normal. This will allow us to enter to our campus as we did before. I am not sure how many of you would have had the opportunity to visit our campus in years prior when it has been safe to do so. But a full restart of a physical campus life really is something we're looking forward to. In the meantime, and with the safety of our students and staff our priority, we must and will continue operating virtually. With a limited presence on campus, and we'll be there until it is safe for us to be fully back out. Even then, in that steady state, we are planning to continue offering online, remote, and face-to-face -face delivery, working in tandem, in parallel, in what many term a hybrid teaching environment. 
Now, as challenging as the past year and a half has been for all of us, remember that none of, a, of, of us are in this alone. Whether you are residing in Trinidad and Tobago or in one of our regional counterparts or even internationally, we have all experienced the COVID-19 pand pandemic in one way or the other. Despite the pandemic being as disruptive as it has been, I am grateful for the way that it has brought our family together a bit more. For now, we all exist and thrive in a virtual UE community that staff and students have all contributed to building. And I trust that you, our new students, will benefit from and add to it as well. But when we do return to the physical space of our campus, and we hope this will be the case in the months ahead, we will do our utmost best to ensure that the feeling of community continues to exist. So this leads me to the second bit of advice that I would like to share with you. And it's as follows. I dare you to embrace all that our UE community has to offer. Campus life offers many opportunities beyond the classroom to grow socially and intellectually, to build networks. I encourage you to follow the campus's social media channels to keep abreast of the many events and activities that continue to be held in the virtual space. Get engaged with the Guild of Students and help foster youth leadership on our campus. Join our humanitarian efforts, pursue research, learn a new skill other than academics. Whatever it is that you choose to do, just be sure to use every single opportunity you find to grow. Now, it is one thing for me to give you this advice, but sometimes hearing it from your prayers can resonate a bit more with you. And for that, I would like to introduce you to four students who joined our campus community not too long ago. Hello, hello, students, uh, Chelsea, Shanda, Nurudin. Did I get that right? No, Udi. Yes. Yeah, it's no, it's no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, morning puff. No, 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 it's not. You, no, Udi. <laughs> That's practice, all right. And Troy, all right. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us um, on this uh, 2021 Uni Life. But um, I thought, I thought um, uh, we'll approach this by, by first having you just talk a little bit about yourself. A free and open discussion, um, not question and answers, not class, right? It's a conversation. Um, <laughs> I, I just tell us a bit about yourself, um, you know, in particular what, what, what program you, 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 you uh, sort of entered into. A little bit about your, your year, um, high points, low points even, um, we all open here. And um, I'll probably touch a little bit on, on what kind of advice that, that you'd like to give to, to those who are entering to their first year. So anyone can start um, uh, the conversation, I, I don't know who want to go first. You used to have always shy. <laughs> I, I, get, I can go first. Yeah, you go. <laughs> All right. I'm um, in my final year and to graduate. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm from San Grande. I'm studying, um, well, I've studied communication studies and linguistics, a double major. Hello, I'm Chelsea Mohammed. I am currently uh, in year three, answering year three and I'm pursuing a major in communication studies. A little more about me, uh, I'm from South Trinidad. I have a very big family and we're very close-knitted and that was um, a major decision in me choosing UB uh, for my tertiary education, just staying there and there to my family. Yes, um, hi Principal Copeland, um, hi. Well, so I'm Troy Eustace and I'm from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I, uh, I am a first generation university student and uh, um, coming to UE has always been a dream of mine because I wanted to attend a university that was deeply rooted within the Caribbean and to have that authentic UE experience that I've often mm -hmm. heard many persons um, speak about. Yes, so that's all it's about me. Okay, that's interesting. You stayed on hall or you stayed off campus? Um, when, I was on, when I was on campus, most of um, my colleagues from St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and so on were at what was then known as Milner Hall, now known as Freedom Hall. I spent all my years there. But um, what about you? 
Yes, I definitely had the whole experience for the first year of my um, university ah. experience. Uh, so I stayed on Sal Hall. Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry to hear that. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Professor. How are you? I'm fine. My name is <laughs> My name is Shonda Latouche, and I am actually a postgraduate student currently in the process of finishing my research paper at the Institute of International Relations. But I always knew in my mind that the UWI would be my choice of institution because it is a literal academic melting pot. There's a little bit of everything for every interest for every student. Um, so, so maybe having done the introduction, perhaps you can hear a bit more about what the experience is. No, I, I, I interrupted you, so I probably will get back to you on, on that. On about your experience, or what you thought about it, um, about your experience here at UV. <laughs> so my UV experience, I honestly cannot complain that I had, you know, a bad UV experience. I think a lot of my life right now in its current form was shaped because of the experience I had at the UWI, all the connections that I made, all the networking that I did. Because, you know, the UWI is an institution where you meet people from all over the world. It really creates opportunities once you maximize your time there. That's, that's um, excellent. Um, there are many who go through without doing that. No, I know I had you waiting, I'm sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, that's fine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess all I can say I feel really, really proud to say that I went UE because you know yeah. UE is the Caribbean's number one university, you know. We is the Harvard of the West Indies. When people oh. hear you go on UE, they just say, mm, you know, a UE person, right? And I I'm a I'm a small town fella. So when I started UE, it had this grand reputation and scoop, and it was all very intimidating. But in a matter of no time, UE became like a second home. I felt really comfortable. And looking back now, I think it would not be an exaggeration to say that UE was the single most transformative thing in my life. You know, I started as a schoolboy, reading all these papers and writing essays and having to do work. And then just a few years later, one of my own papers got published. And now I feel like people will be using that to do their work and write their essays and I feel like, you know, what, like, who is me to be taken so seriously? And UE contributed to that development. That's mm -hmm. significant. Um, that is having impact right, on, on this space. People say that knowledge is infinite. Um, I, I don't really believe so. I just feel that it's so large. Like, yeah. It looks infinite, right? I mean, there are only 26 letters in the alphabet, right? But <laughs> it's huge, right? It's huge. Yeah. And, um, Sometimes it's just different spins and perspectives on on the, on matters that came to the fore before. So making mm -hmm. that contribution is 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 a, is a significant um, um, uh, sort of achievement. Um, I, I wonder if we could we could um, as we go towards the end. I'm not sure um, time because the conversation has been so so interesting. Quite frankly, um, um, if you could, if there are any words of advice you want to share. With, with our listeners, uh, most of them are new students. Most, um, I would think most of them are undergrad, but some are postgrad as well. But if you want to share any experience, some of your experience, give some advice. Um, you said done some sharing, give some advice on how they could approach this year that's, that's, uh, that, uh, that they're getting into. So I definitely say get involved. I mean, um, I mentioned before that the learning experience is not confined to the four walls of a classroom. We ought to get involved in everything possible. That's how we really build our character and that's how we make ourselves unique and really stand out in the world. So by trying new things, by joining new clubs, accepting new roles, new responsibilities, all of this will help you build character. Um, it will definitely um, help you form new connections and expand on your networking skills as well as um, you know learning new cultural backgrounds and new um, aspects of people will really help you expand and you know be broad and be able to experience life at the fullest. Yes. 
um, there's a saying that one of my lecturers, my former lecturers back in St. Vincent used to use, she said that if you if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Mm -hmm. And definitely yeah. coming to university, none of us want to fail. Uh, but in addition to that, I would also like to say, um, you know, just use, I'm a regional person, like I have a regional perspective. Uh, as a year one student, make it your business to know at least one other person from a different island. Find out about how, how that person lives, how their culture might be different from yours, because though we have a lot of similarities as, as persons being part of this Caribbean civilization, we also do have some differences and it's important to explore each other's culture. So get to know at least one person from another island. Um, as I said, before to that, that none of us we, we we do not come to university to fail but it's also important to keep at the back of our mind that there will be challenges and there will be time when you might fail at something but never give up um always find a way to pick yourself back up no matter what the situation is and sometimes you would surprise yourself and, and realize that you have greatness in you and far beyond your expectations. So just enjoy the university experience as much as possible. Okay, well said, well said. Yeah. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. these have been um, really and truly great uh, words of advice. I've been listening to you through the entire conversation. And um, all I can tell myself is that I, I don't need to be worried about the future of the Caribbean, all right? Um, I think it, it will be in, in good hands. Uh, you, will, you will soon be leaders in our various chosen areas of discipline um, and I think you'll all do very well, you'll do us proud. We do have our challenges as a region um, and uh, the world has challenges it, it itself but even as you go out and you do well, you help us to do well. Um, and you already said as well. But, um, but um, I, I really do want to, to thank you um, for this um, engagement. It has um, it has it's truly been heartwarming for me and I wish you with all my heart, I wish every single one of you all success in whatever you choose to do. Right? All the very best. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. So that great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now before I close, there are a few more important persons that we need to recognize. I was once told that I'm referred to as the captain of the UB St. Augustine ship. And while I might not be much of a sailor, I know a captain can only be good at what he does if he has a great team working alongside him. There are a few faces and names that you will become familiar with in the, in the months ahead. And I wanted to be sure that they were properly introduced to you. I will first start with the members of the Campus Executive Management Team, or Kent who work with me to make decisions on strategic, operational, and academic matters. The CEMT provides advice and input to significant issues affecting the delivery of strategy and operations, both internally and externally. Hello and welcome. I am your Deputy Principal, Professor Indar Ramnaray. As Deputy Principal, I serve as a Chair, Deputy Chair, and as a member of several important student and staff related standing committees, which all work towards improving the overall quality of our campus. This includes implementing and assessing student services and co-curricular programs that support the development and success of all students. My office is considered to be the office of last resort for student matters. So if you are faced with issues which may be affecting your academic performance, or student experience, and you have exhausted all other avenues such as your department, deputy dean, or dean, you can turn to my office for assistance. Send us an email at deputy.principal at sta.uwi.edu or submit your concerns to me via the student online system available through your student portal. As you begin your academic journey, do not only take care of your mental and physical health, but also lean into your personal support network of mentors, academic advisors, friends, and family. We will continue to support you during these very trying times and do all that we can to get you successfully to the finish line. Thank you and welcome. 
Welcome and congratulations on making a very positive choice in becoming a student and a member of a UWI St. Augustine family. I'm Campus Registrar, Dr. Dawn Wendy Fugill. The Campus Registrar operates as the Chief Operating and Administrative Officer of the Campus. The Office of the Campus Registrar is committed to keeping students informed about important dates, processes and deadlines impacting your academic journey. It is my duty to ensure that the university's charter, statutes, ordinances, policy guidelines and procedures are interpreted and applied correctly across all our operational and administrative functions. From a student's perspective, I have responsibility for all official ceremonies, such as graduation and matriculation, as well as the student ad academic administrative support arms, such as student recruitment, admissions and enrollment, graduate studies and research, examinations, academic facilities and SAS banner. But long before I was a campus administrator, I was a UWI student beginning my journey in the Faculty of Social Sciences just like you. UE has been so much a part of my life. So too will it forever be part of yours. So as you take this step in your academic progression, dare to remain open and see beyond what is right in front of you at this time. Know that the UE experience will prepare you for anything, anything that you want to do in this world. Who knows, there may be another campus leader in our midst. Hello and welcome. My name is Andrea Taylor-Hanna, the campus bursar at the St. Augustine campus. The bursary, as my office is traditionally called, ensures the effective managing of the financial operations of the campus. I am sure many of you have already interacted with the bursary team as you navigate the registration process and pay fees using our new fee pay system. As the financial hub of the campus, the bursary staff fully appreciates the pivotal role that the department plays in the operations of the campus. I hope that your interactions with us are positive. If you need support, feel free to visit our website at sta.uwi.edu slash bursary. Students, as you navigate this new chapter, Dare to be accountable and draw on all available support. University life requires a different kind of self-discipline to ensure that everything you need to progress academically gets done correctly and on time. It can be a lot, so don't hesitate to reach out when you need to. We know that some of the top students fail at university because they underestimate the diligence required, or they think they need to do it all on their own. This does not have to be your reality. My team and I look forward to serving you. Hello, I am campus librarian Frank Sudin. On behalf of all of us at the library, I want to wish you a warm welcome to the UE St. Augustine campus, whether you are a new or returning student. As you are no doubt aware, the UV is an internationally ranked center of teaching, research, and innovation. And the library is at the heart and core of teaching, learning, and research activities across all faculties and disciplines, and is in fact a cornerstone of the student experience and crucial, really crucial to your academic success. We will help you to locate, select, and acquire the information you need from what may seem at times like a rather daunting mountain of material. But don't worry, our librarians are ready to connect you with the relevant information, resources, and data, and lend their expertise to help you leverage new technologies to their full advantage. I hope the library's rich collections available online and physically within the building, as well as our innovative services, will help you achieve your academic goals and enrich your experience here at the St. Augustine campus. We can offer you so much more than simply the opportunity to borrow books and journals required for study, teaching, and research. So students, dare to be curious. Your university journey opens new frontiers in your learning. And I hope 
that you will use the many resources at the library to fuel your curiosity. Visit us online via our web portal. And I do hope we can also serve you in person soon in a safe and secure environment. Best wishes to you all in the academic year ahead. Next up, I will introduce you to the deans. The academic activity of our campus takes place within our eight faculties, each led by a dean. Our deans are responsible for all matters relating to the educational, budgetary, and administrative affairs of their faculties. They are charged with providing the vision and leadership needed for their faculty to excel and to advance the university's mission. A very special truly welcome to you, our students. As we would say in Trinidad and Tobago, we ready now. We ready for the UE road. It is our privilege to have the opportunity to be a part of your higher education journey as the whole world continues to adjust to the diverse disruptions associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. We have rallied through COVID-19, supporting our nation and our region and taking our classes largely online. The pandemic provided new challenges, new learning opportunities, and many successes. The shift online has made us rethink traditional modes of instruction and led us to innovate and improve our ways of teaching and learning. We are so inspired by your commitment to pursue higher education at this time. The campus is poised to provide you with resources that support your academic journey, and we are invested in your personal well-being. You, our students, are the heart of the institution, and we continually strive to provide you with an environment that allows you to achieve your dreams. We encourage you to enter this semester with enthusiasm. And with the knowledge that the university community is standing together to face all challenges. You are now part of our West Indian tradition of excellence, joining the ranks of renowned business leaders, innovators, international achievers, heads of states, road scholars, and Nobel laureates from across the globe. Your adventure starts now. So be prepared, ask questions, and dare to be. We are glad to have you here. And hopefully, we will see you in person on campus soon. I know the UE Life program has a lot of exciting things in store for you. So I'll bring my segment to a close. How can I say, welcome to our new students and their support networks. We are happy to have you as part of our campus community. And until we can meet face to face, our virtual community is at your disposal. And I now encourage you to thrive and to grow so that you can reach your fullest potential. Stay safe and all the best to you.